guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very last time. We are going to be sitting down and talking about a new file name and a new edition of the Tortured Poets Department. So, Miss Swift, yes, she did come through and she announced one last final Tortured Poets Department file and that is going to be the black dog now i'm going to be so honest you can even hear in the clip that i will play right now of her announcing it oh no she's live again sorry i'm sorry about the screen <laughs> here we go Here we go, here we go, here we go. She's so cute. The Black Day? That picture of her is insane. Final edition. I can't read. The black dog. I can't read. I thought it said they. Sorry. The Black Dog. I thought it was called The Black Day. Now, I couldn't fully see the screen, and then Taylor started talking, and it was called The Black Dog, which is even more intriguing. One thing about me is, it seems like the, not the odd, but the different, the unique song titles usually become my favorites. So I fear this will be one of my favorites just based on that fact alone. Um, so this is going to be, like I said, the last file. So I wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys about it because I feel like every single time one of these files is announced, I just need to like debrief with you guys. Like it's just one of those things like I just need to sit down and be like, listen, here, here's what's happening. Here's what we can like kind of piece together without even knowing what the song is. Here's the back and front cover because, oh my God, we need to talk about that first. The back and front cover. So I have to say this file photo, oh my God, it is absolutely stunning. I think it's my favorite other than the original cover. So out of the Bolter, the Albatross, and now the Black Dog files, I think this is definitely my favorite photo. Oh my god, she looks just like model. She always looks like model, but it's insane. Like, I just love, like, the simplicity and, like, it's just gorgeous. I just can't say anything more except, like, it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Album 6, track 8, if you will. So then we go to the back, and we have a quote, a lyric. I'm gonna guess it's probably a lyric from The Black Dog, but I don't know. Um, I'm kind of guessing that maybe that the lyrics, the quote on the back of these covers are from the extra file, but we will find out on April 19th. Old habits die screaming. Wow. Wow. Just like shatter my heart. The back covers alone are shattering my heart and we have four. And like, I don't even know what to like say except, oh my God. Oh my God, this album is going to rip me to shreds. Okay, um, then this gorgeous photo of Taylor. She looks so like, again, I just love the simplistic nature of these photos. She looks so natural. She looks so like, just like raw. And I think raw emotion is going to be just like a main theme of this album. And I think that's really coming through with these photos. Somebody did point out in the picture, it kind of looks like at the bottom there's Christmas lights, which I don't know, but 
I was looking at Taylor personally. Taylor looks just like absolutely gorgeous, but um, yeah, I, I love this. So let's talk about the black dog. Let's talk about the meaning of the black dog. Now, do I think this is actually like a black dog that Taylor like met on the street? No, no, but I could be wrong because it's Taylor Swift. Maybe it's a story. Maybe, maybe it's a story about this time her and someone met this black dog, black lab retriever, a black species of dog on the street and it maybe it became some some memory of a day. It could be that, knowing Taylor Swift. However, I have done some research along with all my fellow Swifties. We've done some research and let me tell you the symbolism of a black dog. Whenever you look up the black dog on Google, it says the black dog is a way of referring to feelings of depression, great sadness and lack of energy. There were times when he wrestled with the black dog and he couldn't write, meaning the same kind of common themes that we've seen within this album so far, just by the titles, by diving into different things that these tracks might mean when the titles are released, it's kind of all tying together. So maybe somebody was holding her back. Maybe someone wasn't letting her be bejeweled, if you will. I just think that <laughs> feelings of sadness where you lose lack of energy, where you feel like you're losing yourself in either like a relationship or a situation. I think that's what it's going to be about. And also the black dog does symbolize in some cultures, protection and good luck. In general, a black dog can represent mystery, intuition, and the unknown. That's very interesting. Um, the origins of the black dog are difficult to discern. It is a creature in British culture, interesting. Um, even throughout European mythology, dogs have been associated with death. Um, the sullen dog that a person is struggling to get off their backs, okay? Kind of like the albatross, if you think about it. Uh, that's very interesting. And in 2011, the Black Dog Campaign became <laughs> in the United Kingdom to raise awareness and resources for those living in depression. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, what is the folklore of a black dog? In the lore of long haul truckers, seeing a black dog with red eyes in your perpetual vision is a sign of a fatal crash being imminent and that you should pull off immediately. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, in literature, a black dog will symbolize contradiction stories, uh, variously, uh, describing as menacing and satanic going ons of the afterlife as a terrifying hellish beast that can burn and even kill, um, associated with misfortune. I'm just going to say Taylor Swift is not one of those people who like sits and she's like, Oh, like this food was lovely. Like this girl is going to go into the Oxford dictionary. She's going to dive into some poem. She's going to dive into some fact that like is a story is a is a bigger word. Like nothing, nothing is just surface level. Um, if you will vocabulary for this woman, like, Oh my God, like, oh my God, her brain, if I had an ounce, I've said this before, but if I had an ounce of this woman's brain, I would truly like be set for the rest of my life. Like, are you, uh, her brain is so insanely like, I, I can't even wrap my head around how big her brain is. It is insane in freaking sane. So <laughs> That is what I have gathered about the black dog and I am so excited. I think out of the bolter, the albatross and the black dog, I'm most excited to hear the black dog just because like reading that, reading, reading that, oh my God. And I, 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 apparently also it's a pub in England. I'm not so sure on that. I saw somebody else say that. Um, I have not looked that up for myself, but very interesting because the bolter is also, I don't know.
I don't know. Like I said, it could be based on like a day. It could be based on, you know, a restaurant. It could be based on the folklore, which is what I, I think. I think it's based on the folklore. <sighs> All right, our debrief is over. That's insane. Um, yeah, you guys, I, Taylor Swift is crazy. Her mind is quite literally mind blowing. And, uh, I can't wait to see what it means on April 19th, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and wanting to just like sit down and listen to what I have to say, because this will be fun to look back on when the torture post department comes out because oh my god i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video entertained you in some way and i sincerely hope i see you yes you in the next one bye guys